Hey everybody, I just played the Arena Open uh, for, for cash and glory, right? The Arena Open where you can win 2,000 US dollars on Arena if you win out. And this tournament this time was in, Al uh, in the format Alchemy, the format we uh, or I've been playing mostly on Arena lately, to get off Arena Cube. And um, I was going to play Esper, but I, I, was, I was just feeling in my gut, intuitive feeling that Esper might not be the best choice. I think Esper is fantastic against like aggro and this sacrifice mid-range black decks and what have you. But anyone who's playing counter spells, anyone who's playing a braids, for example, for key to the archive, um, is it's not a great matchup. So basically, the Esper deck is not so good against the other blue decks. I mean, it's it's feasible. We have a sideboard with like eight nine cards, but it's it's not that amazing. I was planning to play Esper, but again, last minute, I just didn't feel quite right. And I saw this deck on Twitter by Yuta Takahashi. Apparently, I made some tiny changes. Um, it, it was a best of one deck originally, so it went. Um, it went 7-1 or whatever for multiple people on day one in best of one. Um, on day one, I actually played Esper in the best of three queue, and uh, I did quite well. Although I, I lost the first try run um, with Esper in best of one. I was like, ah, best of one is not my format. I go back to best of three, and that worked. Um, yeah, this is the is, is a deck. Uh, it's meant to beat up on the other blue decks. And just go over the top with, with Windfall and Gavenic Iteration against any type of deck. And of course you have Key to the Archive which can find Time Warp. And then you can Time Warp with Gavenic Iteration to have the whole is a turn experience again. Which is pretty ridiculous. And you can also flashback Time Warp with Leer. Um, so at some point you're just in situations where you just like draw your entire deck, you Gavenic... Windfall, then on the next turn you're Gavenic, copy this cover, draw six, everything is cheaper. Like you go completely crazy. And uh, you just gotta survive until that. And that's what you have the, the cheap spell lands for Spike, Field, and Javari Disruption, a Braid, Fading Hope, of course, and one burn down the house. Um, yeah, the rest is relatively straightforward. We're a little low on actual like things to get the job done in the end, but we got also approach of the second sun theoretically on the key to the archive. And again, if you if you're casting discover the formulas and copying it, you just find your one kill condition and you're gonna kill your opponent with that. Um, yeah, and a braid is excellent right now because it, it is a cheap removal that's used against any creature deck and it destroys key to the archive, which is a yeah, which is the centerpiece of the format. Maybe one of the m most played cards and one of the best cards in the format right now. So if you can just efficiently get rid of this card, you're in a good spot. Um, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. I threw the sideboard together um, because it was a best of one match, uh, best of one deck I found on the internet, so I, I don't know. But yeah, Ray of Frost is essentially just a, a nice, cheap interactive tool against dragons, very efficient. We got Fading Hope, um, Fading Hope is just a good, yeah, I mean, you want to buy time against a green opponent, against anyone, where you want to buy time, essentially, uh, any creature deck. The Stainless Stroke, I thought, is, is good um, for dragons, which, again, I wanted more for dragons. And I didn't want to play a bunch of Ray of Frost, because Ray of Frost is kind of, like, narrow. It's only, like, for the dragons and for some of the red decks. And the Stainless Stroke is a little bit more flexible in terms of it can be very good in the Blue Mirrors, for example, countering. Windfall, Teferis, and Discovers, and Leers, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's why I, I, I'm playing two strokes here. And the Gate, Test of Talents, another little bit more of counter magic um, to, to fight various control mirrors. Uh, and then the rest, I don't know. Uh, can, you, can you even see it? See a Smoldering Egg? Um, turned out quite good in one match, or at least one match um, in the tournament. Uh, perhaps should play more in the future. And then Brittle Blast, just uh, a five damage XL any planeswalker or creature. It's 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 doing things. And then a gold span because that's like a sneaky thing you can bring in against control. And last but not least, another burn down the house because that's just a powerful sweeper against any aggro deck, uh, any Inquisitor captain trying to rebuild their board or whatever. Um, yeah, that is the deck. That is what we're using in the Arena Open. The footage that you're going to see is from my Twitch mod. The games were very exciting and I definitely want to share them with you. And um, yeah, I, I, wish you, I wish you a nice viewing. It's going to be a, probably like a three-part series. And uh, stick, stick through it. There are some really, really good games in there. All right.
see you in the matches. Let's go, Arena Open day number two. How much can we win? 1,006 wins, 2,007 wins, 2,508 wins. Eight matches, only one loss to give, and then we're out. Are you guys excited? Are you ready for this? Let's go, let's do it. We're playing Is It Control? <clears throat> And what I can already tell you, I, I mean, I haven't played much with the stack, but it does seem pretty strong. And it does seem very good against the other control decks. So what we all just want to see, we want to see a bunch of other blue decks. And um, probably I'll play them with all blue red stuff. All right, that's fine. I, I gotta say, I, I, I missed casting Expressive Duration as well. That card is pretty unreasonable. Okay, then of the bugbear. I think I'm just gonna fire one off here for the anticipate. Oh, that's interesting. So if my opponent goes the whelp, I think I want burn down against the whelp. They deploy a couple dragons. I can buy myself time. This does seem to be like a dragon stack, very likely. Yeah. Dragons, I think, is a little bit of a tougher matchup for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, we could just play Expressive Federation and then Key. Pun goes for a dragon, then plays another dragon, hits us down to like 10 ish. I think I'll just go with the divide, but I'm not 100% on this. So yeah, we have a delay, so I won't be interacting much with Twitch chat. I'll just be playing the tournament, I'll concentrate on that, and talk a little to my place. Roads. Stays tapped. But bouncing this whelp doesn't do anything because it's just bit replay it. But this this certainly worked out pretty badly for me, I guess. Uh, no, it's 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 somewhat okay, I guess, but Okay. Well now I just play key, I think. And let them deploy a bunch of their dragons. Uh, I hope they don't have a brave. That would be really bad for me. D spark is pretty good. Um, let's put the Gravenic in the bin. Please don't abrade me here. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Likely they play another dragon here and then the burn on the burn on the house will be very very good. No, no more dragons. Interesting. So we're playing against the white version. So that's probably It's probably some Valor stance action over there. So my Forsaken Crossroads will come into play tapped. I'm a little worried about Valor Stance, the way they played here. I think I'm just gonna look for an untapped land. Stroke is also very good. And just go for a D Spark. Like if I burn down, they might do Valor Stance. It's annoying. Hmm, maybe. Maybe I should have done things. Right. Let's 
It's just a free mana card. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Yeah, I gotta despog that one. Or we can divide it. Hmm. And I'm probably... It's gonna be tough to play around Valorous Stance now, I guess. Hmm. I'm just gonna bounce this. Okay, yeah, this is kinda good though. Like, now they probably deploy a dragon. And then we can burn down. And then we have stroke up. Go to 15, yeah. No, nothing, huh? I think in that case, I will just do this. Uh, and, and cast a stroke. Actually, I'm probably happy drawing a land. If I cast a discover here, so at 13. Let's go spend cost a cheap 2 mana. I hope you just can't kill me this turn, that, that would be appreciated. Counter that. Horror is nice. We have 4, 6, 8 mana right now. Okay, that's fine. We'll go to 8. There's the lad, nice. Um, So we can burn now and then we have 5 up. Mm, they don't have better stance anymore. I can burn down and play key. Then I have the Viper Zero up. I can also try to go for the horror. Horror is dying to better stance though. It's not pretty. I love that. We could also copy a mascot. And we're gonna do that next turn. Okay, let's 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 play the key. Let's see what we find. Approach and day of judgment. Uh, approach seems pretty good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things get interesting. I have so much clunk now. I gotta decide which one I wanna keep. I might not keep the whole breaker after all. Because it's bad against better stands. And I don't think I need it when I have approach and mascot. Okay, I'm not... Okay, Sh Should I just... I think I just interact with this one there. I don't want my opponent to play another card. And then be able to uh, draw some cards. One way up. Okay. So we have 5, 7, 11, 12 mana. So this says, if the spell was cast from your hand, and you've cast another spell and then approach of the second sun, this game, you win the game. So this copies a spell, and the copy won't be a cast, so I'm pretty sure this does not work. I'm very, very sure, right? Like, a copy is not a cast. I'm very certain. So I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I could do that. It's 14 life. It's not bad. <laughs> um... So I think I'm just going to copy the mascot and pass. We have 4, 7, 11, 12 mana. 9, which we can invite meta sciences first. I can also express duration first. Nah, no, that's fine. 
I want to express it after I've cast my approach, I think. Thanks for all the good luck wishes. I should cast Inspiration first or after? Maybe just first. In case we find like a copy spell. Opponent's kind of dying both ways here. This is 8, 14 power, I have a hall, we can go up to 13. This is 811. Yeah. Has a better stance, yeah, I expected that. Now you're gonna draw a card. Yeah. So now you go to 17 to 16. <clears throat> Play a hall. And we have 17 power on the board. So we. Technically, have we for? Opponent does not discard. Opponent does not discard, huh? That is interesting, isn't it? We technically have lethal, there's a divide. <clears throat> My opponent. Oh god, shoot. Can't draw into this. I'm missing one card. Oh, no, actually. So activate and then I have. Only three mana up, so if my opponent has a removal spell, they can just kill the 4-4 four four and I die, and they have exactly four mana. So I did not attack with this last turn with the 3-2, which I should have probably done. Then I had a lethal, six, seven, I only have one divide up. If I had these two up, I could play around that. I just gotta go for lethal, I think. Oh man, this is brutal. Goldspan was a fantastic draw. Goldspan plus removal off the top. That was pretty sick. <sighs> yeah. But I just gotta go for it. Just gonna hope there's nothing. Oh, that's so freaking sick! That's so sickening! If I would have attacked with the free 2 last turn, they would have been at 13. And they would have taken 13. No! 
Oh, why didn't I attack with the free two? Why did I not? I was at 13 life. Like, the den of the bugbear doesn't kill me anyways. And, like, they also needed gold span. They needed the gold span. Because then, if, if they don't have the gold span, I can't do this. Oh my god, that's frustrating to lose. Oh, why didn't I not attack with the free two? One little punt. Oh my god. That's so frustrating. I, I could have played around this, I guess. And just do nothing. And then play divide in their turn, bounce a thing, and then win via, via approach. Boy, I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh my god, that's so fucking frustrating. Oh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, okay, so I had either attack with everything. I, I thought... I don't know. I mean, I thought I'd stay back to block the den, you know, give myself a little time. That's just insane. <laughs> they, they rip Goldspan into removal, come on! How does this start already? <clears throat> Unreal. <laughs> I think we want to just get rid of some of the card draw. Uh, make our deck a lot cheaper. I guess Brittle Blast is probably good enough to. We have four Spike Field for the Fearless Whelp, so I don't necessarily want. Too many abrades as well. I'll just play expressive. Maybe windfall or discover. Oh no. Decked in this font must be at least 60. I thought I had 60. Mm. I don't think I want to split burn down on the play. Hey, this is just so unreal. Uh, okay, I, I, I mean, they didn't discard, so it was kind of obvious that they had it, but... And then I should have just played around it, but then I would have lost against any haster. No, funnily enough, I probably lose against... Whatever. I, I can't beat Valor's stance, because they can attack me for four and then kill their own Moonvale Regent. And there's no possible way for me to beat that line of play. I think. There's no possible way I can beat that line of play. They can just Valor stance their Moonray Reach and kill me in the air. On the next, so I had to go for it. So the, the mistake I did was by not attacking with the free two. That cost me the game. Because I stayed back for the den of the bugbear. Yeah. Crazy. And the approach was not good in the end. Hmm. Approach like bite me bought me a turn. Yeah. I mean, they had, again, they had to really rip like a god in the end there, too, so... <sighs> well, it happens. Okay. Just win the next two. Should just play expressive here. I'll just play expressive later in the game. Like, oh, Hannah's very reactive, which I don't love. Well, I'm not reactive anymore. Sorry about my phone here. Just gonna turn it off. Hmm, so I could just jam the key.
unfortunate. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta be aware of the 6 6 flying dragon. So we have to divide in this, I guess, for that. I don't have a land drop to give. question is do we go for key or do we go for for Gavanic? One's likely gonna play dragon, right? I think I'll just go for key here. Keep up the ray. Demonic. Off. Demonic's gotta be kinda good, doesn't it? But what are we demonicking for, Lear? Breaker. Lightning Bolt and Regrowth. And regrowth is pretty good too. But regrowth is just the worst demonic essentially. Could just cut Gavanic iteration. I don't hate that. I could also just cut land. <clears throat> Oh, funny. Interesting. That cow. <laughs> Pretty good here. <laughs> I didn't, didn't think about that one. Um. Okay. Huh. I can just demonic tutor for a burn down, but then I tap myself out. I can just copy a bunch of windfalls. I can get it in an insane amount of mana and take a hit. Just checking my deck list. I think that's the best idea. And then we can demonic for Holebreaker Horror and spawns these angels. Something like that. This got a card, don't I? <laughs> Guess we're discarding Ray of Frost. Drawing six new cards. And we can always demonic do that for more. Brill Blast! Yeah. 
There's the horror. Everything at instant speed. Brutal blast the dragon. We should do it in the upkeep. So they don't get like cards from Moon Veil. Vale. <clears throat> or maybe in a draw still. down to 12 minutes, I'm playing so slow. Let's just start with integration. Okay. On the draw now, I don't go dragon, so that gives me some more braid targets. Burn down the house. Fading hopes not the worst on the draw either. I like when I like the the iteration a little less. Um, problem with braid is it is not good on the draw against whelp, but fading up is. But it's good against orb, orb of dragon kind. And we have four spike fields for the whelp. Alright guys, let's go. Oh, I still have my... Oops. I completely forgot to take turns off. To make a new one. Oh shoot, this is too clunky. Oh no. That's rough. Well, so it goes. We should have won that game one. I messed it up. I messed it up big time. Divide. I want divide by zero. I want expeditoration. I guess. I don't want either. I hate them. Okay. Actually, pretty happy to see that. Get to use my upgrade here. Expeditoration. Divide by zero, please. I hope I don't regret bottoming that island. Whoa! What's going on here? I need spellbinder. Just 
missing? Some creature package, huh? Yeah, you gotta... Ah, that's interesting, I guess. I'm gonna take, take it real fast. Man, if you spell is a beating here, though. <laughs> I'm mulligan already to five, and this is sort of a mulligan to four now. Taking one card, making it clean playable. Hmm, Town Razor region, beautiful. Yeah, that was... That's round one, then. <clears throat> That's round one. Town Razor region is absolutely horrific for me here. Really taxing me on the mana, dealing me a bunch of damage. Okay. Yeah, that game won. Oh. Man, that was rough. That was rough. Now I go to seven, then I go to five. Yeah, this game's over. Yeah, GG. Alright. <clears throat> That game won. That was rough. Oh, I can't believe it, eh? I can't believe I lost that one. Why didn't I attack with the free two? It's like, I didn't really... There was so much stuff going on. I could either win with approach. I still had the windfall in hand. So I felt kind of comfortable in that situation. I thought I had that. I thought I had that game. <laughs> Incredible. It's close. Yeah, this Dragons matchup, Dragons is not the reason why I play this deck, but I actually played twice against Dragons today already with this deck, and I beat Dragons twice. Um, matchup's close, I think. Much closer than I initially thought. So you have like Spike Field for the, for the, for the Whelp, and, and you have Javide Disruption and Divide and so on. You buy time very well. Um, yeah. That game won. Should have not slipped away. That, that, one, that one's on me. Magic is such a rough game. <laughs> you play your best, you make like a one-time mistake, and gone is your score. I think I want the second one. Perhaps I want the second one. No, I'm playing as a blue deck. I just want instant speed stuff, divides, etc. And I run into the Javari if I go expressive here. I don't want that. We'll just play around um, Javari disruption for the for the entirety of this game. Chess guy. <laughs> I love me some expressive. But Gavanek is kind of nice with these windfalls, isn't it? Now, I guess I get a hope that my opponent does not deploy the ferry or key. I have a braid, I free a braid, four Javari Disruption and one Disdainful Stroke. Eight cards in my deck, I don't have any right now in my top 12. Now we might lose to this card. Yeah, now they, they found something for my key and I'm gonna lose. I mean... I don't know. I'm playing as Jeskai, huh? I thought about Jeskai. Because a Braid is really good in the Mirror match. Or Prismary Command. And Divine Purge is just fantastic overall. But the thing with Jeska is... First of all, the mana. And... You don't... You, you don't really have anything for bigger creatures. Like, a Braid doesn't deal with anything for toughness. Divine Purge doesn't either. So... We just... Crozen Crib... Copy. And then we have... We have two mana left over. Yeah. And then 
next turn we can go for triple rainfall. Discard a braid. Memory delusion? No. <gasps> this is not. Oh. What the fuck? This is not actually. What the actual fuck? What? You're playing you're playing mill? Okay. Huh, okay. I mean our position still looks pretty good I think. We just we have a horror next turn and infinite mana, so that should be good enough to win this game. Man, this is a spicy that guy. Interesting, Jeskai and doing the mill thing and key to the archive, like what the heck? Isn't that a little bit too much of like, like you're jamming like multiple things into one deck? But I guess my opponent is not playing ruin crap and just tries to combo kill people with hideous laughter. Like you just play... Um, Gavenix and hideous laughter. And then you just combo kill people as if it's time walk. I don't know. I don't know how much. I don't know how much sense that makes, but whatever. Divide. So if I play key, I still have six, nine, ten mana up. The problem with horror is stuff like Fading Hope. Like removal in general. These decks are a little bit over my head, honestly. Like can do so much stuff and I'm not quite sure how to evaluate what's the best 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 line I could do it now so I don't get divided I'm just gonna let my opponent do things first though. I don't know. Play the horror of that, I guess. You gotta play a little faster, I feel like. I'm spending so much time. I should I should use my intuition more and less my brain, I think. Uh, lately, I'm using my brain just a little bit too much. No, I have seven actually. What am I talking about? God, I can't even count anymore. I have seven mana, so this is actually totally fine then. Yeah, that one can't resolve again. Four, eight, ten mana. Exactly, five and ten. 
Divide last turn, I know that. And now that 100% they didn't have to divide last turn. Because they just pass priority so quickly. That's what I was comfortable doing with horror here. Now we used our entire turn for that. For double time warp. Not bad enough. How much purchase do I have left? Two. find time warp I probably can't lose if I just pass the time now but they're fading up my horror I guess I don't know. Hmm. maybe I should just click key well I can always recast my horror and then cast things so that's 6, 9, 13, 15 mana. Yeah, ain't happening, I think. You can also copy the formula. Sure. I don't have to do anything right now, which is a nice part. I can just do this and do nothing for now. They didn't show me any Gavani iteration. Are you saying you just tried to touch up people? That's a little slow to me. I'm no expert. Just know you're dead. I would expect some Gavani iterations, right? Maybe just didn't draw any. Well, we beat game. We beat them game one. That was very important. Um, the 
Disdainful stroke. Hits the key and that's it. <laughs> the key is already pretty bad against my deck. What was foretold? What was foretold again? There was a card foretold, right? That's stupid. Ah, oh, this guy, okay. Uh, I wish I had more test of talents. Jeez, that would be good here. Um, so I have like a braid and stroke. <laughs> two and two. Could play Smoldering Egg in early game. Kill Con potentially. Fading Oak. We didn't see any creatures. Huh? Not the biggest fan of Smoldering Egg. But maybe it's better than some of these. It's sort of like a mirror match, but my opponent definitely has the... It feels a little scary, what they do. I can maybe let one Tasha resolve, but probably not two. It mills 20 CMC, 20 mana value. So... I, I do have a lot of mana value though. L alone my 4 drop slot is like 32 mana. And I have seven drop, I have three discovers, which is another 18 mana, 25. I have a lot of mana in my deck. The post board, my opponent likely trims down on Divine Purge. Then it should be easier to kill them with like a copy mascot exhibition. So I don't even, if, for example, if my whole breaker horror gets exiled, I wouldn't necessarily need that maybe. <clears throat> Thanks for all the good luck wishes. What the heck? I'll take it. That's the first time. Arena open. Didn't want to play it anymore. Hmm? Not worth it. <clears throat> Maybe a disconnect. Probably. I don't know. I'll take it. But if it's a disconnect, they can surely complain and get their money back. At least some of it. Alright. Mm. Oh man, that first first match still stinks. It still stinks. Still very much stinks. But hey, we are we are in the money. We got five thousand gems. That's my entry, I guess. <laughs>
Mm. Just being back against, with your back against the wall is just rough. Mm. It's not a good feeling. One match at a time. Don't think about the rest of the tournament. Just one match at a time. Iron City Man. Have we been on the play in every game so far? Maybe. Mono Red. Ugh. Dragons again. Okay. Snow Dragon. I don't know dragons, huh? If I, if I would have known, I would have just played Esper. Hopefully they don't break me. Lightning Bolt I can cast. Casting this cover here. Oh, we're cleaning, cleaning house. I think I might just cast this cover. Let's see what they do, I guess. We also cast these two. Is this your anti-control tech? What, what in the world? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Just pings me for one. Pwn has the ping deck, huh? Ping, ping. I'm just gonna discover. I can go to 13, whatever. I won't get out pinged here. Literally just pings me for one. Powerful card. both lands. Have five mana here. I have to discard. I can play the key and then despark this thing. Or I can just discard a card. My opponent has a gold span, it's a little annoying, I guess. That's okay, I'll just exile the gold span. Not a 
this back now we go Maybe this is not good enough anymore. So I have ten mana. Should probably bounce the two planeswalkers for my divide. want them to ultimate that thing. <clears throat> what are we getting? Mascot. Then cycle my hand, I guess. I was gonna play here. This is a tap land. This turn we hope for a dragon, we can despark, and then we're gonna discover into hopefully a lot of gas and go crazy. stuff going on. Well, we have the windfall, I guess. Four eight cards. Uh, I guess I'm just discarding the land. Braid that thing, unfortunately, but I can kill it with Hall. And again, it just pings me for one. It doesn't do anything for the first turn. So. No idea when this guy is in one comes back. It seems clearly worse like a Chandra. We love that. The Shame Mountain. Key six, eight, ten, twelve mana. Yeah, let's go. Counter spell. Hmm. 
gonna take a little while to kill my opponent. Planeswalkers on the menu today. You are lucky this is a warning shot. Like I could go for a 2 turn, hop in for 9 and then hit him for 14. But I mean, just kill the stuff and then kill them in 2 turns. Next game. Okay, okay, okay. Mono red. I get some ray of frost. Stay of stroke, I guess. Mono dragons. Burn on seems pretty good against these planeswalkers. Turn to number three, maybe? To negate for the planeswalkers? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Rolling Vortex could be in the deck. I mean, a break should be good. Like, they should also have Storm. I mean, if they're playing Mono Red, they probably have like Storm Seeker and Rahilda, maybe. perhaps. Kills planeswalkers. I do have that right in my sideboard. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
I mean, from what I've seen from their deck, they can they can even ultimate the planeswalker, the Rovan. I don't think it's wait what? Why am I on deploy? What's going on? My last opponent just conceded after game one. This opponent puts me on the play. What? Now that we know they don't have whelp, I'll just play my spectre. Could have played this on wide, I guess. In case we hit something. Day of Judgment seems good. stop here in case I draw. I don't need no, I'll just take the two damage from the Tom River. A little soft now to the inferno. Well, I have the whole breaker. <clears throat> but the 6 6 flyer would have been at least annoying this particular turn. Some devils here. Bounce the moon down. Well, let's cast this. Bounce the moon whale. So I have five, seven, eleven mana. I think I'll just make some devils. Get this game over with. That wants to keep it later. We have the treasures to instantly cast whatever we find. I 
these dragons deck don't get out of the gate quickly. They're not so threatening. The threatening cards is the acceleration turn two. Well, especially. Burning hand. No, no. Next game.
since I was eating. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe I should have just set up the horror last time. But then I would have discarded the divide. I don't know. Um, if I divide this, go up to 7 cards and I can cast this. Take environmental sciences, cast it, play it. Hmm. I like how I play here. Do have another haste that uh, suck a little bit? Please, no, no, please. Hmm. Four, seven, nine, ten mana. Okay, that could get out. Hmm. That's ugly. Now I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do flyer. I don't know, I'm not playing with magic today, I feel like. I should have just played Windfall last turn, let them do some Sigardian Avenger nonsense. I don't know, I should have just discarded that stupid divide. Playing loose. Now we gotta hope that they don't go for the land activation. If they draw a land, which is a two life. Okay, nice. I was dead there. I was I was technically dead. here and kill me. Okay, we live another time. I have seven, eight, ten. Exactly five. Braid, kill two of the Evangels, bounce one, bounce my horror. Yeah, I guess.
Yeah, it looks like this was... It looks like this is... Um, um, the last bit out of stance, which is good news for me. <clears throat> I'm still dying to that flying land though. So I'm gonna just go for that, and now I can rebuild. Now I also know what I have. That's pretty good. Just gotta pass again, I think. Four, six, nine, eleven. Play horror, then I can play a braid. And block one thing. If they go for the land, I'm in trouble though, then I can't do horror. If they go for the land. Yeah, and if they go for the land I'm in deep trouble, then I have to windfall here. I messed this game up when I didn't windfall when they played the Guardian of Angel for the first time. I mean I, I, I divided there and that was so terrible. That was a terrible use of my mana. I needed to I needed to windfall. And th this card one of the divides, which sucks of course, but the divide just wasn't that good in that spot. Super happy that they don't, they, they, they're not going for the land. Play the key. play horror now then you then you get an evangel and tap my horror and then I okay because I drew the braid I can kill the captain Bounce the spellbinder. <clears throat> the question is which which one do I kill, which one do I bounce? I think I killed the captain. I have, I have like three spike food hazards in my deck. Which is like the best draw. Okay. Whew. Well, we're still dying to that land. Which is kind of sad. This game has been pretty sick though.
I'm so glad they're not activating this cave. So just play Galvanic, copy Windfall, I think. Just Avengers in the world. Start bouncing these. Um, I don't even know if I want to keep the hazard. I'll draw four new cards. Fading hope. Not all hope is faded. I have like a Leah, I have three Discover still in my deck. Three of them. Jeez, so I needed to copy there, huh? Just doing everything wrong today. God. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> well, what I can do, I guess I can bounce my own key and hope to find something nice. <sighs> I mean, I'm going to find something nice, right? Regrowth and Lightning Helix. Boah, um, Lightning Helix is... 12th? damage to the face <laughs> right now i could bounce everything and 12 my opponent and then attack and they go to one. Oh my god uh, but regrowth twice is bananas too i get like yeah i gotta take the regrowth who are we kidding uh, so I can copy Regrowth. A uh, copy. The Regrowth is already copied. So I get the burn down, and I get a. Actually, press that federation. I think so. Jesus Christ! This game.
since we're attacking, because my hope break is gonna get tapped anyways. If I cast this cover here, then I can bounce the last of Angel. <sighs> These games, this deck is it's kind of slow in killing someone, huh? Whew. Um, now my phone goes for this, huh? Should have gone that this would have probably won in the game much earlier. Ay ay ay. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty insane. Mm. Burn down seems good. This brittle blast and egg. The standard stroke is good against the uh, Inquisitor Captain. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Brutal Kavas, Reckless Storm, Sigatalia, and Sigatalia Ranger. What, what, what are we playing green for? Halana and Alena? Hmm. This this makes games go quickly, maybe, <laughs> which I maybe want to be doing. But they have better stands. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is just insane. Maybe I should keep a stroke, play Fading Hope, I guess. Should I cut a land? 21 lands. I was kind of flooding in the end. Oh yeah, by the way, these pathways are for... If you don't find... Uh, if you find like a white card, like Lightning Helix or Approach, with the key to the archive, then you can just flip the pathway and play it that way. They destroy the key. Let's move again. <clears throat> uh, I'll take it. Not the best against Talia. It's looking for a spike field hazard in the early game. Like food is at its best here. Don't tally me, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Real castable, that's good. The nuts. The nuts. Hmm. Well, actually, I'll bounce this and then Brittle Blast the Storm so can hold that. I won't have an untapped land to cast my divide on turn 4. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Land, land, land. Fuck! Oh, brutal. That's GG. That's probably GG. Just 
destroying two clunky things. Should have, should have cut it more clunk stuff. Man, Talia. God, my deck's so clunky right now. Okay, maybe I should play Gold Spend Dragon. <sighs> nah, I'm so dead. Like they, they have four spells in hand. Now they can. No, no, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm I fall too far behind now. Having to divide with a four drop, a two drop. That's that's lights out probably. Should be Next game. Next game now. Next game. This thing can't even miss. Not like Coco. Okay, that's borderline miss, I guess. Maybe they even have more Talias in the end. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. This is like a 3 4 flash. Some flash creature. Mm. I need a sweeper. Someone's just gonna keep up this though, they're gonna put me to five, keep up that, maybe, probably. Yeah, I have Leah anyway, so I'll just get rid of this too. I mean, we mulligan to six, and my six was hands and spells, so I can't really mulligan to five. But our hands were just not lining up anyhow against theirs, we just didn't have any cheap. So. You know we play like seven one drops and three braids. Turn down. One time. Dealer. Let's go on the play now. <sighs> Takuwan versus Tabananga. Okay, fine. I I'm missing lands, but I have two cheap interaction spells. I have key, which is the card I think is also really good in this matchup. So it gets me ahead. That's good. That's really good. Not bad. Cool. I think not. I need lands. Some egg. 
Do I play the egg? If they play Talia next turn, I probably just a braid. I think I'll just take the lands. I know they have Guardian of Faith. So I'm just gonna break them out. Play tap. Open. And red. Um. Okay, okay, okay. We're 20. Things are looking fine. That's also fine. Doesn't do a whole, a whole lot here. It's good, but it's doesn't disrupt me from doing a play, which is the important part. What would what would be bad is if I would my keys would get destroyed. That would not be great. Do you guys remember his it turns? It's not too long ago. <laughs> How long ago is it? Um, <laughs> do I want to just go for double time walk here? Or do I want to just rough? Play a little slower? Yeah, I think I'll just go for double time walk. The question is, do I play land? Probably not. Demonic Tutor. Yeah. Four, six, ten mana. For Lear, I can't cast Time Warp in the same turn, right? It's too much mana, it's 12 mana, I need to have 6, 10. So I'm just drawing a couple cards. There's the Hollow. 7, 6, 10. Opponent obviously unlucky missing land drops. I don't know if they would have had a chance even if they would hit land drops here and then draw is pretty good. That time warp. Bonus stance. That would be rough. But we still have the Monic Tutor for Lear, or we just draw Lear naturally. That's fine too. So now we could have actually played land, flashback Gavanic, and time warp. Whew. 
Whew, that, that last game, that last match against that Inquisitor Captain deck, I was just relieved that it was over, honestly. Oy, oy, oy. Um, what do you... I One question I gotta leave you with. What do you think about the, the Den of the Bugbear staying back with that free two elemental creature in game one of the, of the video where I do not attack with that free two and then I miss lethal with my free damage? What do you think about that? Would you have attacked or would you have stayed back to block that Den of the Bugbear? I'd love to know your opinion. I'm still not quite sure about it. And maybe it makes me feel better in the end. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I can promise you the next one, the next part is going to have some amazing matches too. All right, see you there.